Hi Vogue, I'm Selena Gomez and we're going to go through my life in looks so far. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, it's bad, just so bad. I don't know, I'm sure, I thought I was so cool, you guys. It's so embarrassing. But in my defense, it was very Paramour, Ashley Simpson days and I'm like not apologetic about that phase in my life. I just don't want to see it ever again. Well, at that age, I actually did dress myself and did my own hair and makeup, which you can tell. I don't know, I felt cool at the time and I didn't you know, have all this fancy stuff around me and I thought that made me pretty edgy too and I just, I don't know what the hell I was doing, you know? Oh, yeah, this was fun with me and my stepdad. We got into a little bit of an argument. <laughs> it was a lot of boobs. Ow, oh, he's just protective, it's fine. I was 18 years old. This was Love You Like a Love Song, the video that we did for it, which to this day, honestly, is still one of my favorite songs. I thought it was my time to cross over and become a pop star, or whatever that was to me then. It just was really fun. I think it was like the first time I tried to be high fashion. And you can laugh at that because that's not high fashion. To be honest, when I was younger, Taylor inspired me a lot when it comes to like wardrobe and stage outfits. But you wouldn't be, uh, yeah, no. You're never gonna see me wear that again. Okay. Well, this was such a fun chapter of my life. I was shooting a movie called Spring Breakers. What I loved so much about this era is that I really stepped into performance as far as an actress. I feel like it was so challenging. And it wasn't the element of, oh, I'm being sexy. It's like, actually, when you watch the movie, like, my characters were in bathing suits, essentially were on spring break. But I really wasn't as scared as maybe I thought I was gonna be stepping into something that was a bit, a lot. It was just plain and simple to say this is what it's like on spring break. Yes, we're elaborating and glamorizing it a bit, but it was a, a new chance for people to see that I'm capable of other things. Obviously, there was nothing wrong with growing up on Disney, but it was a totally separate world. and. It just opened my eyes to so much. I have never had a spring break. Do I feel like I've experienced it through this movie? Yes. Will I go on spring break again? Nope. Uh, this is Versace in 2013. It was at the VMAs. I loved this dress. I remember feeling for the first time like a woman. I had said many times, you know, I look like a little kid. Don't give, I mean, I feel like I look like a kid still. I remember trying this dress on and the first thing my stylist said was like, is this too sexy? And I didn't have any doubt in my mind. I said, the dress isn't about being sexy. The dress is a statement. It's going to feel like I'm carrying this Versace piece of art down a carpet. So this was one of the first times where I was like, all right. I'm feeling it, feeling myself. Ah, Vera Wang, 2015 Met Gala. I fluctuate a lot with my weight. And I remember this night specifically, I didn't feel good about my body. So what was really amazing was that I actually got a chance to work on the dress that fit my body. I had such a beautiful time shaping this dress. I think that we came together and built something really beautiful and, and something that fit me really well. That was one of the moments where I was like, I don't have to be that 19 year old body shape anymore because I'm not. This was <laughs> at the American Music Awards, 2015, Giovanni. This was one of the looks that I felt like I got it, you know? Everything worked so well. I performed one of my songs, uh, Same Old Love, that night as well. Okay, let me just be honest, because television and live music is hard. Will I do it? Absolutely, because that's the opportunity to share what I love. So I just go into it saying, all right, I'm gonna convey my message and I don't care how my voice is gonna sound. I'm just gonna do the best I can. Ah, uh, Louis Vuitton. 2016, this was probably 
top five of my favorite looks. It was almost that simpleness with a bit of edge that made it amazing. The slip to me felt very 90s. The top um, had this leather feel to it and the boots looked so different than high heels but added that grunginess and it was also very comfortable. And I felt like this outfit didn't need anything. As far as my hair and makeup, it was just, this was one of my favorite looks because I felt like I was wearing something that was fashionable, that needed its own moment, and it, it wasn't over the top. So this is 2016 on my revival tour. Yeah. All right, it's so hard to tour and when you're a female because you have all of this pressure to add multiple looks throughout the show and you want it to pop, but you have to make it comfortable for yourself and realistic to dance in or to perform in. This one we did for the opening act. I'm not gonna lie, Britney Spears inspired it from Toxic, so I wanted to find a moment where, you know, that could kind of have its place. Still have the outfit. Do I put it on and try to sing? Sometimes. Tour is hard. You know, it's very difficult for me because uh, I, I tend to just get into a place where I'm not filling myself up with self-love, so how am I going to give it to all these people? But I, every moment of it, if you put me on a stage right now, it is the best feeling in the whole world. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Ooh. This was at the AMAs and I was wearing Prada. The reason why this is probably my favorite outfit I ever wore was because I took a break from a little bit of the craziness I live in. And I remember I was stepping to literally um, fresh off of me, really taking care of myself and then knowing that this was the first time people were actually gonna get to see me. I said, I wanna think very Audrey Hepburn simple. My makeup's not over the top. There's really barely an accessory. It was just like, once I put the dress on, I was like, I'm ready to be me. I'm ready to step into this world and reclaim my name. It was like one of those moments, like, what's she gonna do? And I knew that people were talking in that manner. And when I put this dress on, it was like, this is the moment I want to have. And I loved it so much. 2017, I loved this coach sweater. It was so adorable. I overwore it. It was one of those outfits that I felt, um, that's my everyday look, you know? I was so surprised that people were like, the dinosaurs, and then I was like, well, then I want more dinosaurs and stuff. Like people were freaking out and it was so cool. I think my everyday life is classic, but I'm also such a character. So it depends on what character I am that day. Yeah, no, I can be a, a bunch of different people. This is 2017 bow cover. This was with Martin Marcus. I'd felt so confident in that look and they helped me feel that confidence. They pulled it out of me. They were just like, yes, like, love this. This is great, do that more, do it all. And it was such a huge moment. And I remember saying to myself, please don't make me look like I'm eight, like 15 or 18. Like I remember saying that and I didn't feel that at all. It was classy, but it was really sexy. This is definitely framed. I, I don't frame a lot of stuff, I'm gonna get embarrassed, but I framed this one because it will always mean so much to me. And I went on a cute date that night. I was feeling it because I had my hair and makeup done. 2019, the Dead Don't Die premiere in New York. I was wearing Celine. So this was also a moment in my life where I had fluctuated in weight. And I'm very honest with the people on my team. So I didn't want to wear anything tight. And then I tried this dress on and I felt so beautiful. You know, definitely highlighted this area a lot. Um, but it was so, I felt like a Barbie doll. Making this movie was a riot. It was so fun. Bill Murray was like, ugh, I loved him so much. He called me Gomez. He had no idea who I was the entire shoot. It was awesome. And um, then I met some really great people. It was really fun. Oh, yes. 
This is Lisette 2019, and it was kind of a pajama look. So as I got older, I'm trying to mix fashion with comfort. So I remember I wore sneakers with this outfit and went to dinner with my friends. And I remember I felt beautiful. I'm so happy. I'll change into seven different outfits just for one night. And it's just like, what am, what, what, who do I want to be tonight? Like we, we, we know. It's in here, guys. 2019, Versace, AMAs. Gotta say, I have some great moments with the AMAs. This I felt so good in. Uh, I actually had a whole idea for this outfit. I tried it on, we made it a bit shorter, um, which was fine, I loved it that way. And I felt like I wanted to try something, like a look that was so vibrant. And when I came in with my team, we designed this together. Clearly I like the booby pics. Like I love that one from The Dead Don't Die, and I love this. Woo, 2021. Did we have a good year? Hmm. Uh, so far. This is from my music video for De Una Vez. I'm wearing Rodarte. This video was like going through an old house, maybe the house you grew up in, and you're having these specific moments and you're talking to yourself about where you are emotionally. And then you see at the end with all this baggage and everything that lifts from me, and then the simple shot of me just walking out the door. That described everything the song was saying. I feel completely different when I sing in Spanish. You know, I may not be fluent, but I'll never forget where I came from and where I'm from. And I just think it's really important for me to embrace those moments through fashion and music and everything else. Bye Vogue, thank you so much for joining me and uh, embarrassing me a little bit. I hope you enjoyed my looks and I'll see you soon.